Spacebar is play from the start of the loop. Or if you turn off the loop with C, you can play from the cursor position. Enter, takes your cursor back to the start of the project. O to open loops, and again to close. F for browser, and again to close. Option C to bring up the color palette to color your tracks or regions. Highlight any section and press U to set the cycle loop around that region. Again, pressing C to switch on or off the loop if you wish. X is mixer, but if you want the mixer in a bigger window on its own, Command and 2. It's the same for the edit window E or Command and 4 for its own separate window. Command and R to replicate or duplicate a section or L to loop that section. Option click and drag to copy. Option left click to reset any parameter. Command and K to get the on screen keyboard. T for the tool window. And once you've selected a tool and you want to go back to the normal tool, the pointer tool, just press T twice. In the edit window, you can use the brush tool for multiple notes. Just select the type of note you want, quarter note, eighth note, and just click and drag to brush in multiple notes. Command T to split a section. Command J to glue them back together or glue any multiple regions together. Command J. Say you want to move this clip here to the cursor position. You just hit the semicolon and that'll move that particular region to the cursor. Moving notes down or up an octave. Hold down Option and Shift and then the down or up arrow. G for global tracks. So you can start using your arrangement track or marker track or signature or tempo. G to close. Control B to bounce that region in place, whatever region you've got highlighted. And Command B to bounce the whole track. There'll be more tips and tricks coming. Please check out our Logic Beginners course where you make a track from start to finish. And if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks guys, all the best, bye bye.